Good morning again. If you, you remember in the previous uh, uh, text, we spoke about how parents were unable to send their uh, children just because they were uh, hungry and poor. So before the provision of food, parents were too poor to send their children to school. They are not able to go to school. They here, which means uh, the children, refers to the word children, are unable to go to school. Why? Let's conclude. Two, because they were too poor. Let's write, let's conclude. Two plus what here? Plus an adjective. Plus two plus what? A verb. Expressing what? We said that they are unable. It means inability. No negation in the sentence. But thanks to this structure, two plus adjective plus two plus verb, automatically we, can, we, we express uh, inability. But let's focus now in the, these two sentences. Read the following sentences and what do you notice? The first one, if we don't give to UNICEF, the UNICEF is the organization to help children. Children will not have a chance to enjoy the right of education. Express it differently. These two sentences have the same meanings, but here we have the structure if. In the second one, we have unless. We give to UNICEF children will not have a chance to enjoy the right of education. What do you notice? The first one, we have if. If plus what? Plus negative verb. The symbol now minus the verb. Equal. Equal. Same meaning. Unless plus what? Plus positive verb positive verb both have the same meanings and by the way the word if and unless could be in the initial uh, take the initial position it means in the beginning of the sentence or in the middle of the sentence and you focus only on that clause and the other clause Mm, remains the same. For example, if I say, if we don't give to UNICEF, children will not have a chance to enjoy the right of education. If we replace if here by unless, don't change the second clause. We change only the verbs with if negative verb with the unless positive verb. Hope that you understand this point of grammar. We will practice it later. Let's practice what we have seen about the points of a grammar. Grammar folks. Express differently using to, to, or, unless, or if. First one, many African children are hungry. They are not interested in education. What do you notice? We have here, angry, which means adjective. And not interested. They are not interested. Negative verb. Let's start. Instead of saying uh, many Africans are not angry, so we will replace by to, to, many African children are, let's remember, we said two plus adjective plus two verb, are two, the adjective hungry, two, we said no negation, so to what, to be, the verb is be, to be interested, we omit the not in education. Now it's understood. Many African children are too hungry to be interested in education, which means inability. If they are not hungry, so they can be interested in education. Let's move to the second one. Children are so vulnerable. Vulnerable, it means so weak that they can't resist the disease. You have so plus adjective plus that plus clause, which is in negative form. Let's focus using this structure. Children are... To, what is the adjective? Vulnerable. Good. After to, what do you need? Base form. What is the verb? To resist. Good. The disease. Let's move to unless and if now. Let's remember, we said if plus negative verb. Unless plus positive verb and they have the same meaning. Unless positive verb. We help poor children, they can have a good future, which for a clause we are going to focus on where there is the word unless. So if plus negative verb, if we don't help poor children, the second clause remains the same. They can't have a good future. Don't change anything. Look here now. If we don't, a negative verb, so we will replace if here by unless. Get an education that will not live a decent life. Decent life, it means no 
normal life unless we we said positive verb so unless we get an education comma the second clause remain the same they will not live a decent life and both have the same meanings both have the same meaning i hope that uh, by this exercise you understand these two structures let's move to vocabulary complete these word these um, table with suitable adjectives nouns and verbs the first one to attend adjective to be attendant sorry a and t attendant noun attendance we saw that in the previous uh, videos attendance reduce we have to reduce it and also we can say reducible but by the way we cannot say write able because it becomes reducible which uh, of course are wrong so we write i p l e and noun reduction denial the verb is to deny adjective also we saw that when we said to be denied something denied provision i explained to you in the previous ones to provide something to offer provided something is provided as an adjective the provision is now expectant the verb is to expect Expectant, how do you know it is ANT like uh, attendant? Noun expectancy. There is another noun, you can say expectation. Shin or C. Refuse, it's like denied. The verb is to refuse. Noun refusal with A L. By completing this, uh, you have an idea now how to change from verb to adjective to nouns uh, because you may need uh, these in your grammar exercises. Uh, goodbye.